Heartland Sports with Jess Todd. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Day two of the MLB draft in the books. Rounds one through ten complete. And we have two players from the Heartland that got selected. First up, Donovan native Missouri State pitcher Jake Eddington drafted in the seventh round at 223rd overall by the Philadelphia Phillies. Eddington started his collegiate career at Alabama. He went through Tommy John surgery in 2021 and then missed the entire 2022 season with that injury before transferring to join the Bears. He improved his fastball up to the upper 90s and apparently has the nastiest slider in the Midwest. We'll see if he can carry that over to the next level. Then a Saluki in the 10th round. Pierre Olivier Boucher drafted 309th overall by the Atlanta Braves. The SIU outfielder led the dogs in a number of categories at the plate this year, including batting average at 335. Boucher was also second in the Missouri Valley Conference in hits at 78 on his way to second team all MVC nod. The Canadian had an unbelievable season. Couple big moments for the Salukis this year as well, including a walk off right here against UT Martin. He put it in play. The dogs did the rest. They're going to miss him in the SIU program. And as for the Cardinals, nine total draft picks over the first 10 rounds. St. Louis did not have one in the second, having forfeited it when they signed Wilson Contreras over the offseason. Birds finally got Chase Davis with that first round pick. They tagged him a few years ago, but ultimately decided to pass back when he was in high school. Doesn't matter. He's a bird now, and they went all in on pitchers and outfielders the rest of the way. How about back in Cape Girardeau, the Cape Catfish hosting the O'Fallon Hoots, looking to keep this momentum going that they've had, especially at the plate lately. And Jackson native Lane Croden, RBI deep to center over everyone's head. Here comes Kevin McCarthy, Brody Chrisman right behind him. Two runs cross the plate. And then another Jackson native getting things going again. It's Quinton Borders at the plate, sending one out, this time to left field. Couple more runs cross, and that's how the Catfish just do it all season long. It seems like they always have an answer. Crowden and Marshall Brown cross the plate, and a little bit later, Chris Hall comes into the batter's box. What a year he's having. Strokes one through the gap. That gets by, <laughs> and he just beats out everybody. He's a speedster. Another run crosses. Catfish get a huge win, 7-0 the final. And the official start to fall sports in Missouri is just over a month away. But New Madrid football is already starting the grind. Eagles getting some early work in at their preseason mini camp that started today. No pads and some dreaded conditioning, but the Eagles have a simple goal. Outwork their opponents. Head coach Tyler Fullhart knows just how important these sessions are before the official start of training camp. And so do the players. We'll hear from a couple of the Eagles coming up on Heartland Sports at 10. And former SEMA linebacker Jordan Cole has been invited to the XFL Combine. Cole was one of nearly 250 participants at the XFL Showcase in St. Louis this weekend. From that group, he was one of only 16 invited to the Combine later this month. After transferring from Northern Illinois, Cole missed the 2021 season due to injury, but he was back with the Red Hawks last year, helping him to an OVC title in the NCAA Tournament.